there, Jenny's Drill Pound Materials here. Welcome to the Jenny's Pow Wow! Dude, you haven't done a powwow in this song and you gotta steal my thunder like bring that? It back. Gotta bring it back old school. Jay, we're gonna be talking about favorites in this powwow, and you might be thinking, that's so straightforward, it sounds boring as shit. It may very well be boring as shit, and it may be straightforward, but I don't think so. And neither does Corin, because we're talking, we, we, we foreshadowed this in a, in a previous construction vlog, we talked about favorite candies, and we each listed off multiple. Yeah, I So it's like, wait a minute. Then, then how is it your favorite? Because favorite implies that it's the numero uno spot. Only one, only one favorite. But then, but no, that's never the case. We all like multiple things, and it's sometimes hard to pick just one because you use the phrase, you know, we we sometimes are in different moods. We change all the time. Like I have three different flavors of ramen out there for my digestive shit. I have three different flavors because I like the variety. Right, it's the spice yeah. of life, they say, and it's like. I don't have a favorite one of those. So where does this idea of favoritism come from? I think it's really forced in today's world. You gotta have a favorite candy. You gotta have a favorite show. You gotta have a favorite movie. Favorite food. Favorite person. Actor. Favorite friends. actor. Oh, yes. Favorite animal. People ask me all the time, who's your favorite? Ella, color. John, or Luna. Favorite color? Like, what? A favorite color? How do you pick a favorite color? Yeah. They're, they all have their own thing going on. What? It doesn't make any sense at all when you really think about it. You get often asked, you know, what's your favorite? Or you're filling out information on like a new website. Maybe even like a dating website or something. They're like, what's your favorite? What's your favorite this? And, you know, people ask that all the time. What, like, I understand using it as like a gauge. Like, okay, you can tell a lot about a person by their favorite. But then what if their favorite consists of like 10 different things? If you ask me my favorite movie, I, I, it's funny because I can't even give you a legit movie. I'll, give, know, you, right? I'll yeah. give you the Lord of the Rings trilogy. That's three movies right there. But then I, it's also not just the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I could list about at least five others offhand. <laughs> that are like so good. That are like really good movies, but they're all different genres, which is important to know. Do you judge a person by their favorites? Like if somebody said their favorite food was like uh, something you don't like, usually, right? You get, at least ca you have I mean, to cast some kind of judgment. Some, like back thought, like how this person like this right like say you know a girl's favorite movie would some be something like the notebook yeah it's like you'd be like ooh. you know ooh. suddenly you'd think they have bad taste in movies but what if we extended that and said what's your favorite 50 what's your top 50 movies yeah, suddenly her list like includes so like 20 other movies that you absolutely love like, oh those are some good movies on that list right and I guarantee you every person out there has, like, if you ask them their top 30 movies, suddenly we'd all have a lot in common with each other. Like, oh, shit. But we make ourselves so exclusive with these favorites, suddenly it's impossible to connect because there's so many different choices or possibilities out there. And there's so many, there becomes so many different tastes because we almost force ourselves in this kind of exclusivity. Wow, I just sound really fucking smart there. Right, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite palo I think we've done. The plot mm. thickens there. Now, interestingly enough, we brought up the concept of people and how you can have a favorite person, like you, but usually not like, oh, they're my favorite person. You might say that, but it, more often than not, it's called my best friend. My best friend. And then, can you have multiple best friends? Once again, it's the same concept of favorites because best implies that there can be only one bestie. <laughs> Personally, I say I have multiple best friends. <laughs> right, yeah, that's what I usually tell people. Corn, I see the most, I hang out with the most, we're both very chill, so for that, you know, he, he gets best friend. But then I could also say, oh, Mark's a best friend because we've known each other for so long, we like a lot of the same things, we goof off together, that sort of thing too. I could also say, you know, my best friend is Juliet because, you know, we do a lot of things together, we talk about deep shit and whatnot. And then suddenly, you know, those three people are like, if, if somebody asked me, who's your best friend, and I said corn, Mark would be like, What the fuck? Yo, yo, you, about sure, me? you sure about that? And especially, what, what would it come down to, like, say you're having a, uh, you're getting married, you need to pick a best man? All oh, right. Can you imagine the fight that, that will ensue there? And that's because we force ourselves to pick favorites. Why can't the groomsmen all be the best men? Have a whole fucking so squad. Easier, yeah. why, do, why do we limit ourselves like this? I do not know. Let me know in the comments below, who's your favorite YouTuber? Who's your favorite YouTuber, Corn? Uh, I mean, I'd probably have to go with... Hear that hesitation? <laughs> uh, Swoozy. So got I like Swoozy a lot. Swoozy? You got like 50 million different names going on. Now, what, what that process is, is you're thinking like, okay, I like, I have so many favorites. Mm -hmm. I have like 10 favorites, so maybe. Ones. You're also thinking, what do I almost want to hear? Because you don't want to pick someone who's like lame, lame. Yeah, yeah, super loser-ish, yeah. and it's just like, 
oh, you know, he's going to judge me for picking him. Swoozy's honestly a safe choice, in my opinion. He has lots of different kinds of content. He's a cool dude. So now when you pick Swoozy, it's like, what does that say about Corn? Why did Corn pick Swoozy? Swoozy, he's, he's relatable, he's funny, and he's, he's chill also. What's Corn like? All those things. So it's almost like it's really representative of, of who they are, and it's interesting, like, what makes something your favorite? And I think what made Swoozy your favorite was you saw yourself in those qualities, and that also is something he values a lot. Like, you value humor. You va We're filming right now. All right, Jay, sorry about that. Um, we just got interrupted. Uh, my dad had to say some things. But, um, yeah, Swoozy, Swoozy, that has a lot to do with um, your character. It's like you pick Swoozy as your favorite YouTuber. And, um, like, like, one of my favorite YouTubers is I like Raka Raka, you know, who we hung out with uh, at VidCon. And, like, what does that say about me? I like them because they had, like, really cinematic quality videos. They featured things like Lord of the Rings and Game of Thrones and uh, even Halo and Call of Duty videos. They, they, I thought they had like really graphic humor and I think that aligns itself like with me. Like I'm, I'm really like just like, I'm, I'm a little, like a little bit of loose cannon. I, I like uh, just like graphic humor like that and I like Call of Duty, Halo and, and Lord of the Rings and stuff. And I think that says something about me. Now music's another thing like now, or like even sports. These are two things that me and Corn aren't like really into like at all <laughs> like yeah we don't watch sports i'm not like regularly listening to music unless what comes on the radio or something i would use like in videos way back in the day um so it, it's like when somebody asks you your favorite of that and you say well i don't really have a favorite because i, I just don't really know too much it's just like is that worse is that worse than, than picking not having like a yeah I think that that definitely keeps yourself more open. You're not just saying, oh, you know, it, it keeps yourself safe. Because if you say, I mean, obviously, if you don't have, like, any favorite music and you say you don't listen to much music, then it becomes, oh, you don't listen to music. That's where it, then judgment gets cast. If you say you can't choose a favorite, then I think they generally like that. Like, oh, they have a lot of different favorites. And, and I think that does end up getting respected. But then at the same time, people do usually want an answer so they can judge further. Yeah, how do you not have I feel a like every time I say, like, I don't watch sports, I feel like it's always like, what's wrong with you? you yeah, oh, definitely. <laughs> I get that all the time, because like, it seems like every guy so. watches sports. <laughs> so when he goes against the status quo like that, you'll, you'll definitely meet some resistance. So where does this leave us? We just talked, we just talked a lot of random bullshit about, like, favorites, but, like, wh what's, what's the point here? Where, where is this going? And I think what it is is, we use favorites as an indicator, uh, basically like a brief glimpse into somebody's personality. So I think when it comes to favorites, I think you definitely should have a favorite. Going back to what you said, you know, like, what if you don't have one? I, I think people do cast judgment and then they're like, oh, well, I'm not really interested. This person can't even decide what their favorite is. They don't know anything about themselves. Why should I show any interest? So I think what matters is, and the takeaway here is, we all need to kind of have an idea of what our favorite things are. And even if we're not 100% on what they are, I think you should just go with one. I think you should pick whatever favorite you think best represents you. So if you, like, so I go with the Lord of the Rings trilogy because, first of all, I just think they're great all-around movies. And for those judging, they'd be like, oh, those are really good movies too. That, and I think that kind of goes with me. It's like I'm, I'm kind of nerdy, but, like, you know, still cool at the same time. Um, that and, you know, with, with food, just pick one that, like, you generally like a lot. Because when people ask what your favorite is, they're looking for an answer. You don't want to give them nothing. But when it comes to people, I, I think that's an, an unfair question because these people have feelings yeah, and you don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, feelings by saying, like, you're this person's favorite. Everybody's personality is just so different. Yeah. Either, everybody has a lot of different things to offer, just as movies and sushi go to. And really, these, these favorite questions are something you would ask, like, on a first date or ju just getting to know somebody. And following that, you can be like, so what are some of your other favorite you know, movies. And that question does come out. What are your other favorites? So I think the word itself is, is, isn't really what it, what it is supposed to be. I, I think when people say favorites, we're not looking for, we are looking for one, but then it's also used as multiple. So I can see where that gets confusing. So that's really all we had to share. I mean, it's just, it's a little convoluted topic. And I know some people get pissed off when they have to make a decision. Oh. Like sometimes they're like, what's your favorite? Like, like somebody, 
Somebody asked me what my favorite TV show was, and I, and I immediately have to do a follow-up question to that, as most people do. It's like, do you mean show that's currently on or yeah, one that used to yeah. be on? Because I would say Lost, but I Lost is one of like maybe ten favorites. <laughs> it's all just silly personality games anyway, so just try and pick something that best represents you. And when it comes to people, just make sure you're including everybody, because that, that exclusivity doesn't really translate well. All right, Jays, don't forget to subscribe for more content. Twitter stream links in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to Korn's channel. I might switch these just so it lines up with where we're actually sitting. Um, <laughs> sorry for that brief interruption we had with my dad, but I hope you guys took something from this. And let me know some of your favorites down in the comments section below. Um, let's talk about, I want to hear favorite movie, um, favorite person, color, and, and favorite animal. Ha ha ha. Good luck. So you know, so you can be a smart ass and you can put like a list of your favorites. Um, all right, Jays, love you all to death. All you guys, you're all my favorites. Don't forget to keep it rigid.